All right, now the tracheostomy was placed and the patient is back in ICU and he's on mechanical ventilation. So we know for sure this tracheostomy tube is cuffed and non-fenestrated. Now we can quickly find out the size and everything if that matter much to us. What matter more to us is is the complication that can happen and these complication can be early versus late and the early complication that one that can happen right after placing the tracheostomy or the very first day or two so the first one that we need to be aware is bleeding so the patient came from the OR or just had the tracheostomy and start bleeding from the tracheostomy tube whether brisk or small amount and usually red blood right and this is different from bloody secretions um, but let's say we start seeing red blood coming from the tracheostomy if this happens right away after coming from the OR usually most of the time is related to increased blood pressure now the patient is becoming more awake and the pressure is going up plus the patient most likely now started coughing if that's the case in any case as an internal medicine resident or as, as a hospitalist if you encounter bleeding in a tracheostomy whether early or late always call the surgeon who placed it as soon as possible and let him know and let him guide us through the treatment but usually these things we need to control blood pressure blood pressure as soon as we can lower it down and plus calm the patient down if there is a coughing fit or he's in distress try to calm the patient up also local packing and again the surgeon should guide all of that but just in case should know local packing and usually they need empiric antibiotic and this is if it happens early right after the procedure to cover mainly for staph aureus it's rarely happens but it's a possibility that you need to be aware this is we're talking about early bleeding as soon as they come back from the or now the other thing that could happen early is bloody secretions coming from the et uh, from the uh, tracheostomy tube and again this can happen any time to be honest with you could be early could be late and the reasons can be uh, different but if it happens early it's usually indicate most of the time what we call tracheitis a rotation to the trachea so the way we kind of treat this is kind of supportive by making sure the air is humidified and that's by default when the patient has a tracheostomy if he's in mechanical ventilation the air by default is humidified also uh, decrease if io2 if possible again don't accept hypoxia but if you can lower if i2 lower it and minimize irritation what I mean is try the nurses tell the nurse try to minimize any movement of the tracheostomy tubes and irritation to that. Also, we need to minimize suction. And if we need suction, we should not use kind of really heavy suction until this gets under control. The third thing, which is something can happen anytime early late which is mucus plugs and that's why part of the general care is to have frequent suctioning and make sure we having uh, thin secretions if we have thick secretions we should try to thin them by using usually either bicarb with nebulizer so we use uh, drops of bicarbonate nebulizer or mucumist with nebulizers as well 
so that's very important i've had a case where a lady had a very thick mucus plug and unfortunately she had the single cannula um, we, the, the, so we were unable just to re replace the cannula and the patient became hypoxic and she coded for almost a minute and luckily the surgeon came and was able to clear the mucus plug so it's very important and this could lead to catastrophic complications but usually nurses are very good in managing that infections can happen anytime as well but rarely infection uh, infection early usually um, rare but signs of infection that can happen any moment is including um, and again i'm talking it could be pneumonia but I'm talking about the uh, kind of local skin infection around the tracheostomy tube, which is purulent discharge coming from um, the area on erythema. And you want to make sure the area, it's the, the, the tracheostomy tube is not really closed tight to the skin. Um, uh, so you want to make sure some air gets into uh, the area where the flange attached to the skin you want wound care and you want antibiotic another rare complication that can happen but it can happen is loss of the cannula of the tracheostomy tube and that can happen really pretty early i've seen a case and when this happened of course call the surgeon right away but we should replace it as soon as possible so we don't lose the stoma and be prepared to intubate patient in case you cannot replace it because the patient these patients are on mechanical ventilation right so be prepared to intubate the patient but sometimes they replace it the surgeon usually easily come and replace it put it right away or if you have an intensivist that with the experience of replacing these you can just replace it if you don't have an access to um let's say a tracheostomy tube you can use a rigid um, ng tube and until the surgeon comes and replace it with a different tracheostomy uh, cannula also one of the possibility is subcutaneous emphysema and sometimes pneumothorax ptx or pneumomediastinum and this is mainly happen with the flange on the neck attached really tight to the skin uh, or the tracheal um, tracheostomy tubes goes into the pretracheal tissue instead of the trachea uh, itself and of course the treatment depends what we have but if it's in the wrong position it needs to be uh, removed and replaced so if that happened let the surgeon knows as well so these are the main complications that can happen early uh, next we'll talk about what we call late complication of tracheostomy tube placement thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board